mark um, another defeat uh, must be very hard to take yeah a bit, there were some encouraging signs there you know we started well but you always get the feeling we're gonna can see the goal um, you know we don't get things given to us like we give to other teams you know they defend for their lives and things rolling across the line the keeper dives on it and center off clear it we, we seem to gift players a goal so no matter how well you play um, if, if you keep conceding goals like that you're never going to win a game um, I said to the players who's it going to be Saturday who's going to who's going to make the glaring error that leads to a goal you know they've got to be mentally stronger um, and make sure it's not them that, that gives away the goal. You look at the players' body language, of course, 19 games without a win is very difficult to, to mm. get out of. Um, do you sense that some of your players believe that there's no way of getting out of this? Probably. I think that's human nature. If you've gone that long without winning a game, um, that can probably happen, but if they do think like that and, and settle for that, where are they going to be playing next year? You know, who's going to take them next year when they've not won a game in that many? You know, it's not lack of effort and it's not, you know, lack of endeavour. It's just, I think it's a mental weakness more than anything that, you know, that they come under a bit of pressure and they cave in, give a goal away. And some of the play tonight, especially first half, I thought was really good. You know, we look bright and, you know, we probably deserve to be in front. And then, all well, out of nowhere, you know, we, we end up 1-0 there. A question we've been asking for several weeks now, but it's getting even increasingly difficult to stay up, isn't it, Mark, when you look at the league table? Yeah, I mean, I said to the players that I think they, I think they need six wins. So all that's changed tonight is there's a game less to get them six wins. Now... Unless they toughen up mentally and give the forward players a chance to get going and create things and, and stop conceding goals, then you talk as long as you like. That you know you, you might fluke the odd win, but you're never going to get a consistent uh, run, of, run of you know games without defeat. You're new into this job. Very difficult to, to take over in these uh, circumstances. What do you do as manager now in the, in the days to come to, to get them ready for Tamworth? You have to keep, try and be calm, you have to stay positive and you have to, you know, you have to try and think of a way that, that we can get a result. Now, you know, you look at changing the team, well he can play there, he can play there, but I would suggest that whoever plays has probably got that mistake in them. You know, it's been happening for such a long time that I don't think it matters who you play. Somewhere along the line, they've got to accept the responsibility. Now, I will, you know, I'll stand up for them and, and back them as much as I can, but sooner or later, they've got to take responsibility. And, you know, they've got to roll the sleeves up and say, I'm not going to be the one today who concedes a mistake or makes a silly mistake uh, that, that causes a goal. I mean, the third goal is just totally unacceptable. That is dog and duck Sunday morning football you know that can never happen at a club like this you know when a defender has got a forward right by the corner flag and he's not going anywhere and he lets him run into the box and just blatantly kicks him up in the air absolutely unacceptable does this side um, lack leaders characters possibly does yeah possibly does they cost you money you know we I'd be lying if I said I didn't want an experienced centre half, because I did, but the way things are, you're not going to get that, I don't know, Guy Branston type or John Dempster type, you're not going to get them because they cost a lot of money. So we have to get the next best thing. And, and I think the players that we've brought in have done fairly well. You know, I think they've added a bit of pace into the team and, and a little bit of know-how, but like I say, if you, if, if you keep conceding goals like that, you've got no chance. You might as well stop now. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. Oh, it doesn't make a difference. Um, finally, Mark, are you, are you looking to do any more business? I know 
money's tight and people tend to clutch at straws thinking that's the only way to get out of it is to bring in somebody new but sometimes you can't perform these miracles I think if you just keep bringing players and players and players in you lose sort of all thought of, of what you're doing so you know it's we've brought four in you know I think you have to have got to work with what you got listen the budget I've heard people going about the budget it's not that bad but when it's taken up and then it does become a problem. But there's certainly one or two players, maybe three or four, that certainly need to start earning their money. And uh, they're not doing that at the moment.